It's like my style now. It's like my thing. What? The hat. The uh-huh. hat? I feel like I've never worn a hat. Yeah, because you have awful hair. Well, yeah, that's, that's life. I'm happy to be talking to a true white American. God bless white America. Welcome to This Time with Daniel Chabaz. We just came back from watching Black Klansman, which is directed by Spike Lee. I was going to say that. Ah, but I finished it for you just like he finished the film for us. Good. I don't remember that. That's good. But uh, yeah, it's, uh, it, was, uh, it was a powerful film. Definitely powerful. What do you think? Yeah, no, honestly, I think I'm still a bit shook from watching it. So, you know, this movie, when you watch a trailer for this movie, you know that there's going to be some dark themes to it. But the way it was marketed, it almost felt a bit more Tarantino-esque. It had that vibe. It yeah. really had that vibe. It had that vibe where it's, I felt like it was going to be kind of like a over-the-top parody of real life events but this movie really dug into you and i think when the film starts yeah. it definitely feels that way and carries that tone You're right and then towards the end it, it really starts to get a bit more real a bit more grounded and that's when you kind of go oh okay yeah this is a true story this yeah. is, it's all happened and then the last two minutes of the film really kind of brings that home yeah i feel i feel like it's very much a tale of two movies with this so very this, much. the first half of this movie you're introduced to john um John uh, Washington's character, who is um, I'm blanking on his name right now. His name Ron was Ron Star Lord. Ron, not Star Lord. <laughs> Star Stal- Stalman. Stalwart. Ron Stallman. Oh, was it Munn or Worth? When Munn. <laughs> Olivia Munn. <laughs> Ron Stallworth. We'll go with that. We'll put the real the name, name right here. here. So we're introduced to his character, and he is a rookie cop in Colorado Springs, of all places. And he wants to be a detective and go undercover. So basically, his first case that he is given, it uh, infiltrates uh, the Black Panther Party, and then find out more about them. And then from there, he actually starts to investigate the KKK. Yeah, it really starts to kind of pick up, and you you see this character rise fast and move quickly. Right. And it really shows you how dedicated and hardworking he is. And at the same time, that he's he's a cop, a black cop, the first black cop, really, of Colorado this, Springs. Colorado yeah. Springs. On top of that, he's still dedicated to liberating black people at this time. Right, and of course, it goes without saying, this takes place during the 70s, so there's right. a lot of different political opinions going on there. You have a war going on. Mm. You have a lot of things happening in the world at that time. Right. And also, you're introduced to Adam Driver's character, who Adam Driver is always kind of like that character in a movie that... He pushes the for- movie forward. Yeah, and he's always like... He, he'll never give a bad performance. No. Right? Um, so I wish I wish you got more of him in this movie because he basically plays the character that um, Washington's character creates or it's so, himself. So the storyline of the yeah. film is we've got um, John Washington. John Washington. John Washington. Why, like, I don't know why I was forgetting his name. <laughs> he <clears throat> is the undercover cop, the, the the detective, basically leading this case. Right. And he's trying to infiltrate with the KKK. So because he's black, he uses Adam Driver as his body right but he's the voice over the phone communicating with the clan so it's a very interesting um doubles kind of film right and and it leads to some really interesting moments where you kind of see them in the same place at the same time later on in the movie which really leads to that tension and that anxiety building throughout and like, like we mentioned earlier that this the second half of this movie i think is really where this movie finds its tone yeah. in terms of this is not just a movie with comedic elements this is a drama. This is a serious film, and this is dealing with dealing with serious issues that, as we see in the final two minutes of this movie, are still relevant, relevant, and happening today. And it's and it's seriously like Shane and I were discussing on the car ride home. Like, it's it's scary because like you you kind of go into a movie, you forget sometimes that a movies can be based on real life things, and when you start seeing things that echo into the real life today, and especially a movie that takes place in the seventies, but it's never been more relevant than now. I would say. It's it's scary, but this movie left, I think, me personally at least, I really enjoyed it. And I think this is a movie that you definitely should go see, and I think... Definitely go watch this film. I think, for me, if it was a movie that I was going to buy day one, but then I'm like, you know what, let me just hang off on it. And I, I definitely bought it on sale. Yeah. But it's definitely one to watch in theaters, because it really... Especially if you're with today's culture, you'll totally understand why we're saying right. this. There's a lot of references and nods in this film that kind of make you smirk and go... Like they they talk about like oh this will never happen again or like do you really think it won't happen yeah. again or values we'll like America first Ameri- or let's make, make America great again yeah you know so it's it's things like that that 
you hear it and it's like, oh, this is these are sentiments that were said all the way back then and they're being brought back now and it's easy to see why people are feeling the way they are now in the world yeah. because of events, right? Um, definitely super powerful movie, definitely worth watching and especially worth watching, um, I think, with an audience of people or if you're going to watch it with somebody, watch it with someone who's never watched it before because right. I think it's one of those movies that people will kind of get... Like, it's a movie that I feel like I want to show people. Yeah, I would know? show people this film. Right. Yes, exactly. Cool. Well, that was this time. And we'll see you next. <laughs> <laughs> I, I bid you with you. <laughs> I spit on you. <laughs> I hope not. That's not... <laughs>